Hyun Choi teaches computing through dumplings. I'm an artist and educator. I try to explore different ways of teaching, and making dumplings is one way that we teach about computation. But why dumplings? Dumplings are a really good metaphor because each task is self-contained. And the fact that many people could do a part of that recipe is helpful for explaining computers. Here are some computer concepts he teaches. All right, let's get going. Think of the kitchen as a computer. It receives a task through an input. It's just like the kitchen taking an order. Shrimp and veggie. Then, different parts of the CPU start working together. Two units of the CPU are especially important. The control unit knows exactly what's happening everywhere in this computer. But she's actually not going to do the cooking. Because control unit just tells everything, everyone else what to do. They also be... get to eat dumplings, just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so control unit is commanding other parts. Here we have ALU, which stands for Arithmetic Logic Unit. ALU basically add, subtract, multiply, and compare two bits of information. And she is the actual force behind the cooking and doing the hard work. This process, or the cooking, is possible because there is memory. Memory is like these uh, white plates that we are really using. And each memory could either hold a recipe or the materials. So it's code or data. And when the dumpling is done, the finished dumpling could go back into the memory as well. So anything that happens inside a computer needs to happen through this container. Taeyun says it's important not to confuse memory with storage. Storage is like fridge. It, it's where we keep our stuff. Like CD-ROM is a storage and your hard drive is also a storage. Different parts of the computer are able to communicate over a bus. In a sense that we are kind of passing these memory back and forth. My hand gesture is called bus. It's like bus between a part of the computer to the other parts of the computer. Once instructions are given to different units, they can either perform serial processing when one unit does all the tasks from the beginning to the end, or parallel processing, where a specific task is delegated to a single unit. One of you will just chop chives, one of you will just chop cabbage, and one of you will just fold, and it will be much faster. The process ends with output. It's now time to eat. The participants in my workshop vary from experts in computer science or people who have no experience with computing. And people have varying degrees of experience with dumpling making. The goal of a workshop like this is to have delicious meal with other people, but also to think about technology and specifically computing as something very tangible. The dumplings came out good. Uh, dum dumplings are usually very delicious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>